Are you tired of taking beautiful photos only to realize that they were underexposed? Do you struggle to fix photos or photographs that didn't turn out quite right? This tutorial will show you how to use Luminar Neo to fix photos and make them shine. I will recover key points such as adjusting exposure, brightness and contrast as well as using Luminar Neo's AI power tools to enhance this portrait. So without any further ado, let's get straight to the point. Okay, let's get started. I will go to the develop tool, select the camera profile. I will use portrait and the color, the white balance, I will switch the balance to shade. Yes, because she is in the shade now. It's time for me to crop. I will go to the crop tool and horizon alignment and start cropping this way. Yes, I want to keep here where these lines are crossing. I will apply the cropping and that's okay with me so far. Now I will start by relighting. I will use Relight AI and I will do the brightness near 100%. Let me wait for AI to work. Thinking. Yes. I will leave it there and I will do the brightness bar a little bit less. Yes, maybe around. 35 okay now under the advanced settings I will do the de halo uh, around 59 just to remove any halos and the warmth um, I will crank them all the way down yes to minus 50 next I will do face AI now I will relight the face a little bit. So I will go to face AI. We'll do a touch of a face light or maybe more. Not a touch, maybe around 50. I don't want to slim the face and that's it. Now the skin, you check. You know, this is a lot. There are a lot of artifacts in here, but I would do an amount for the skin of around 50, let me try 50. Yes, that's okay with me. I will apply also skin defects removal and that's it. Okay, so we have some color issues in here, but I will fix that further on in the video. For now, the next step for me is to do the super sharpening tool and the reason I want to do the super sharp AI tool is because I want to see what it does uh, in this area. I don't know if, if her eyes like that, maybe it is, or was something that was captured by the camera that way, but I will try the super sharp AI because this tool has a tendency, or I think the way it works is by rebuilding stuff, <laughs> okay? So I will click on that and I will use the universal. Uh, I will click on the face enhancer and I will click on low and wait for this uh, tool to work. So I will click on low and come back when it is done. Okay, it's not too bad. See the before, the after. The eye definitely is not that good. So I will do some erasing. So I will go to masking, select a brush, erase. I will reduce it around 60. And I will start erasing from the hair, this area here. Yes, I want that to be that sharp, what we did. And then I will do the eye. I will reduce it here, yes. I think her eye has that different color. Over there is okay with, for me. Yes, look at this from, from here to here. 
So we have light now on here. I will then continue by, you know, creating a mood, a color tone, trying to integrate everything into one picture. What I'm trying to say is that, uh, is that, you know, I want this picture to be more integrated color wise, a tone and style, maybe a mood that I will add some other stuff in here just to make this photograph a little bit more interesting in my opinion. The next thing I will do is I will go to the mood section. I will select, I will select a lot. This is one of my favorites, Anaheim. Let me check them out. I think this amount is okay there. Also, I will use a develop tool in here and I will do a smart contrast. Yes. Also, over here in the color section, I will do a temperature. I will lower temperature around minus 23. Yes, something like that. And the tint now toward the magenta side just to uh, get that skin tone better. Okay, good. So, Oh, sure maybe the light is fine so look we have added some color in there interesting colors that's okay time for the sky so I will add the sky but before adding a sky let me erase select and I want to erase this thing here and the other one we'll erase those I'll reduce the size further, like maybe 12. I want to erase this little by little. Okay, that, this one here, the other one. Yes, erase. Hmm, not bad. If you haven't seen the picture before, you will never notice that this ropes were in there okay good now sky replacement i will do a sky and i want to select maybe the dramatic two i think the second dramatic one is this one no this is number three this one number two this is the one i want yes okay yeah that's the sky i want to have Mm, the horizontal position, I, I want to fix that here. I will bring this light of, of the sun to match the position with this area of her head. So I think over there is fine. Let me move it a little bit more. Yes, there was okay. Now I will apply some relighting of the scene. So I will do the relight strength. We'll increase it and maybe there saturation i think that's what i want the adjustments of the sky i will want to uh, crank the warmth a little bit and the brightness yes there is okay and one other touch will be to add some dramatic adjustments so I will do the dramatic amount. There is fine local contrast. Okay. Saturation or more saturation brightness. There. Look. Nice. We have rescued this portrait. I will do one more thing. I will add one of my flares in here. The one with the sun at the left. This is the right. This is the left. I will add that one. There you go. I will increase the size of that one. There. I will increase the opacity around there. And then I will colorize that one with a uh, magenta. Okay, good. And finally, yet. Just need to, to think. 
Please stay out. Oh, oh no, sorry for that, guys. I want to move to this one. <laughs> and I want to apply the vignette here. Not under flare. Okay. Good. If you want the picture to be a little bit more darker, just go to develop and lower this. Okay. All right, guys. I think we have rescued this portrait. It's something you can do if the photograph is interesting for you or you want to keep it. I, I, I don't think you need to have the, this layer. I mean, the way it is. Right now, I think it looks okay. You know, you can also brighten up the background. It's your liking. You know, I want to give that type of drama to this photograph. I think that this halo of light here is, is you know, uh, providing that. And that's an alternative to fix a photograph that was way underexposed. And, and, and if you want to keep it, you know, there's uh, an alternative using AI stuff to do it. So guys, again, if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel, hit the like, hit the bell as well, so you can get uh, a notification every time I upload new content. And I see you guys in the next straight to the point tutorials. God bless you all. Bye-bye.